Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the magnificent nature once again and today I want to talk about feelings. It seems as though a lot of anarchists and volunteerists, myself included, seem to bash feelings as though they serve no useful purpose, as though they are only an obstacle or a hurdle to achieve mental clarity. And I want to impress upon all of you that human beings are a mixture of logic reason as well as emotions, feelings, or the limbic system, the reptilian brain. We are not one nor the other. To be purely led by someone's reptilian limbic system brain or emotions is to be live the hedonistic lifestyle is to act like a savage beast is to not reflect on one's own actions or the consequences of one's own actions and on the other hand to live solely according to logic and reason and disregard all feelings all emotions is to live as a soulless machine a cold calculating automaton or uh, Spock <laughs> um, and I think both are erroneous I think there are certain things in the world that we cannot logically deduce with reason or mathematics. Certain things that are entirely governed by our emotions and that is not to say they must be scrubbed away and eliminated. That is simply to say that not all things can be logically deduced. Things such as love, passion, ambition, these things cannot be reasoned out. Why do we love a particular person? Why do we harbor a passion for a particular hobby? I enjoy practicing piano. Now one could look at music as being based in mathematics and having laws that govern composition and music theory, but that's not all that music is, because if it was, we could have machines play music and people will flock to the big concert halls to hear a machine playing music. But we don't want to hear machines playing music. We want to hear human beings playing music. Because although it does have rules and laws governing the composition of music, when a human being interprets that score, he brings it to life. It is no longer cold, heartless ink strokes on paper but rather a delightful piano sonata or symphony or opera that brings joy to our lives. This cannot be logically deduced. I love my wife as many people love their 
our spouses, our love and dear friend. Can this be logically deduced? Why do you love another person? Many times these things cannot be explained. They can only be felt. And this forms an integral part of our being, a part that must not dominate us, but must not also be suppressed. We can live a happy life through the delicate balance of logic and feelings. If we were to achieve freedom in a stateless society and people were to understand voluntarism, but we would do so based on logic and reason alone, this would not be a fruitful life. This would not be a life worth living. There are many things that cannot be explained. And that is okay. It is possible to live the good life without explaining everything. There is joy in not knowing. I have a friend who is Muslim. And she's been explaining to me why she became Muslim. She converted later in life. And it really made me think, why do people need God? And I didn't understand when I was young because I was more into philosophy and logic and chess. And I didn't understand the feeling, the heart, side of life and she is beginning to show me that side of life religion is not merely philosophy cloaked in allegory as the great german philosopher arthur schopenhauer has said to some people it is something more than how to lead a good life how to treat your neighbor, how to treat your friend. To some people, it satisfies a more profound need, a more profound love. And for those people, it may be necessary. And so I have begun to embrace feelings and my heart as I learn about the importance of them through people who have lived more according to them. It's about balance. It's about the middle path, which is why I love Taoism, ancient Chinese philosophy on which Chinese medicine derives foundational principles. It's about balance, the yin and yang duality. The yin and yang are not superior or inferior, they are just different. They are complementary. They exist in duality. It's not good and evil. It's not better or worse. It's different. Men and women, you can say, are the yin and yang, but they're not better or worse or superior or inferior. They are different. They have different strengths. It's about balance, my friends. Find your balance. Therein lies the good life. Thank you very much for listening. This is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy.